you guys welcome back to another video or welcome if it's your first time here on my channel my name is jen and today i want to share my review and thoughts on the ultra human ring i've been wearing it for the past few months i'm going to give you all the details about this ring to help you decide if this is something that might be good for you this is the ring okay Let's start at the beginning what is a smart ring a smart ring is just a device that helps you track your health data um you know a lot of people have apple watches or um what's that other one called i think it's like a fitbit or just something to track your health and there is a ring option available you can use a smart ring to help you track the state of your body and make healthier decisions the reason why i wanted a smart ring is because i had been looking into apple watches i really really wanted something that could track my steps i am very conscious of my steps that i get in each day and trying to make sure that i'm not too sedentary but when it came to the apple watch it was the price of the Apple Watch steered me one because I knew I wouldn't wear it all the time. If you're someone who doesn't like to wear like a lot of jewelry around your wrist or you don't wear bracelets or you want to be able to wear your smart device all the time, the Apple Watch probably isn't the best option because you have to take it off. You know, it doesn't track some of the things that a smart ring would track. And I was so tired of tracking my steps on my phone. And I know I was missing steps that I was getting throughout the day. So that's the main reason why I wanted to get a smart ring. So I was looking at the Aura ring. I was looking at just other options on Amazon. Ultra Human actually reached out to me and did send me this ring. However, I am not being paid for this review. This is not sponsored and these are my own thoughts. But I, they did send me the ring. And I have been wearing it for the past few months. And I love it, okay? The pros outweigh the cons. There's very little cons to me for this ring, but we'll get into all that a little bit later. I think anyone who is looking to track their health, biohack their health, I think this would be a perfect option for you, especially if you are someone who's really into wellness or you just want to make sure that you're able to get all your steps in a day, track your sleep. You can also track your menstrual cycle on here, and I think it's a really great option if you're wanting to do all of those things and get good insight to the state of your body. Obviously, this is not in place of going to the doctor and like, you know, getting wellness exams, but this is a way to track yourself every single day. Let's get into how it works and some of the features of the ring. So how do you actually get a hold of one of these rings? So there's two ways. There are a few ways that you can purchase the ring. You can either get it from the Ultra Human website itself or you can get it on Amazon. What you're going to want to do first is make sure you order the ring sizing kit. This is going to help you decide which size ring to get. When you get a ring sizing kit, it's going to look like this and it will have a bunch of different sizes of rings that you can try on and so what the company recommends is that you try a size on wear it for a day wear it overnight to see how comfortable it is to sleep in because you don't want to get a ring that's too loose and it slides off all the time but you also don't want to get a ring that's too tight and then if you're someone who swells like when you work out or like eat salt or something then it's going to be hard to get off choosing a size of ring that i wanted to get i actually wore two different sizes just to kind of get a feel for how each of them felt and the first size i tried on was a little bit too big it felt comfortable but it slid off very easily and you want the ring to be kind of snug so if you look at my finger here you see how i kind of like have to wiggle it off you want it to be snug so that it's not falling off like when you're doing everyday stuff or when you're exercising girl this is too expensive to be getting the wrong size okay i got the gold ring there are five different colors that this ring comes in i think there's like silver or titanium matte black gold and maybe a rose gold i should have insert all the colors i personally went with gold i think it's really pretty it is very sleek and just looks like a regular piece of jewelry it doesn't look bulky it's not in the way i was kind of worried that i wouldn't like wearing a ring all the time because i don't really wear jewelry very often i wear earrings and then maybe a necklace sometimes so i thought wearing i'm not a ring person i don't wear rings all the time i thought it might be uncomfortable but i barely noticed that this ring is here and i'm so used to it now it just feels like a part of my finger so like i said i went with gold it looks really cute with other jewelry as well it looks like it's just meant to be a part of your outfit which is nice and this the design isn't like super thick or obnoxious it's a very comfortable fit what does this smart ring track you guys there are so many things i was shocked at how many things you could track with a smart ring and i'm obsessed with checking the app 
like multiple times a day to like get updates on my stats. So the Smart Ring does pair with an app that you would download. That way you can sync your data to it. So the health insights and things that you can track are your sleep index, um, your sleep debt, which I'll show on the screen like what all of this looks like on the app. So you can kind of get an idea of what you're looking at. And then track your sleep index, sleep debt. Um, it also tracks like different sleep stages that you're in and tells you how long you were in each stage of sleep. It will track how many tosses and turns you did. It tracks your body temperature, it tracks dynamic recovery, your movement, which includes total calories and like your daily amount of steps. It tracks your stress rhythm, your heart rate, your temperature, your cardio age. You can also track your vitamin D and sun exposure. One of my favorite, um, one of my favorite things on this app that it tracks is your caffeine window, which I'll get into that in a second. You can track your menstrual cycle and then your circadian dead zone. So one of my favorite perks, like I said, is the caffeine window. And on the app, it will show you different times of day and let you know like what time of day is best to start consuming caffeine or when you should start tapering off from drinking caffeine and it also gives you a list of drinks that have caffeine in them the amount of caffeine they have and like what time of day is best to drink that which is so freaking cool to me I love being able to see that data I'm someone who I do enjoy drinking caffeinated beverages I love matcha I love teas I love coffee I'm a drinks girl like those are really the only flavored drinks I do besides like fresh juice and so being able to know like what time of day is best for me to drink caffeine and taper off of it especially when it's time to go to bed it tells you and that way you are not up all night and disturbing your sleep patterns because you drank a cup of coffee at 4 p.m. <laughs> I really really love that feature talk about some of the other features on the app that you can track which I think are just so cool and I love checking them it's become a habit for me every morning to wake up and check my sleep index and I'm constantly trying to find ways to improve my sleep so I can get a high score so if you're someone who likes competition you like bettering yourself in those kind of ways and you like seeing the numbers and the stats you're gonna love this on the app here when you open it up you can see different little modules of what you can track so my movement I have my stress I have my stress rhythm and then my dynamic recovery and my sleep. One of my favorite things to do is check my sleep index every single morning when I wake up. And so what this is going to do is going to give you insights to how much sleep you got, the different stages of sleep you were in, how many cycles, how long you slept, everything. And so my sleep score as of last night was 86. That was my score. And you can see here on the um on this screen how many total hours of sleep you got it'll tell you if it's an optimal optimal amount tells you your time in bed so that kind of gives you an idea of how long you're in bed before you actually fall asleep um what your restorative sleep percentage is and then your what at what time your heart rate drops i'm trying to work on my heart rate drop time because some nights it's good but like most nights it's not and it always needs attention so then your contributors to your sleep score this is what contributes to that overall score you get. And then you can also see on the app your sleep stages. I have three hours and five minutes of REM sleep, which is great. And then you can see here, this is all the stages of the sleep that you were in. All the times you woke up in the middle of the night. I got three full sleep cycles. Um, it tells you how many times you moved. And if you scroll down a little bit more, you can see how many tosses and turns during your sleep, you guys. It says, I got three tosses and turns, which is um, not much, and it denotes restful sleep, which is super cool. It tells you what your body temperature was while you were sleeping. You can see your morning alertness um, report. It's just so freaking cool like to be able to see how I slept last night. And I love getting like I 86. I mean, that's a good score, but I've gotten like 99s and 98s. And I'm obsessed with figuring out how to improve my sleep because my sleep used to be so terrible. Like when I tell you, I I was barely getting sleep. I don't even know how I was how I was surviving and functioning. And so that is the sleep score. Different things that you can track. So like I can see what my heart rate is, how many beats per minute. I can see my cardio age. It says it's younger than my regular age, which 
period. <laughs> okay, that means I'm young. Um, and then I can see all of these different stats. I can go on here to my smart goals. I can actually change these and update them. I probably should because I don't be hitting my goals, so I don't know. <laughs> but it shows you, like I set a goal of 7,000 steps a day, how many hours I should be active, what time I should go to bed and wake up, and like a workout goal. So there's so many cool different things that you can track on here that just give you insights to how you're doing and you can kind of see how it relates to how you feel. So for example, one morning I woke up and I felt like so bad. I felt like crap. I felt like I was getting sick. I was feeling like really congested and kind of lethargic. And on the app, on my sleep score, it could tell, which is wild to me. It could tell that I, it asked me like, are you feeling lethargic? It seems like your body's trying to fight off something because your temperature is high. So I was like, whoa, like you can tell that I'm not feeling good. So that's how I'm, I'm like, okay, this is actually like really working. At the top of the app, you can see where it says different little um, modules. I don't know what they call them, but you can see like sun exposure. So you can track like if you're getting vitamin D, this is a caffeine window. I have my menstrual cycle being tracked on here and then my circadian dead zone. And there's other little uh, modules you can add or power plugs, that's what they're called, power plugs. So you can track a lot of different things. Pregnancy insights, we will never be tracking that, okay? Um, so yeah, these are the different things that you can track. But I wanna show you what the caffeine looks like. So you click on it and it says you're consuming caffeine in moderation now can enhance mental clarity elevate your mood and boost productivity as you can see here on the little graph the time that's here like highlighted in green that's my window for consuming caffeine at 328 that's when i should taper off so if i go to the next screen i can i can see here caffeinated beverages these are drinks that i could consume right now they're caffeine amount and i think this is how long um it stays in your system i want to say with the times but yeah it gives you all these options and tells you like how much caffeine is in there these are the caffeine drinks that you should avoid that are not highlighted i should not be drinking a red bull right now i should not be drinking a double espresso i should not be having a monster or a rock star that has way too much caffeine and if i drink that right now it's almost one o'clock i would not go to bed probably until midnight and then I want to show you the menstrual tracker. So here I can click on where it says what phase of my cycle that I'm in. It says I'm in my luteal phase right now. It says heads up, your, your heart rate variable seems a bit low. Reducing stress and limiting caffeine might be just a ticket for you. So it gives you tips on how to like bring your levels back normal and what would be good for you during that time of your cycle, which I really love. Um, and it gives other little insights too. It gives you different ones throughout the day. I will not shut up about this ring. I will talk about it every single day to anybody who asks me about it. I give my coworkers updates and I know that they don't want to hear it, but I love that I'm able to see how my body is doing throughout the day. And to be honest with you guys, I feel amazing. I'm 35 years old and things could be worse, but I feel like I'm, I feel very healthy. I feel good. I'm getting amazing sleep and I love that I'm able to track it and see it. On this really pretty ring get into like the details of the pricing and what the cost would be for this also compare it to the aura ring as well so the aura ring is another super popular like ring that's out there i looked into getting that one too but girl that one was kind of expensive with aura ring and with ultra human you are able to use your fsa and your hsa to pay for that so double check and make sure you know that you can use your health benefits or your medical benefits on these things because it is health related and a lot of jobs will cover it which is really really nice pricing for this ring the price of the ultra human ring is 349 dollars ring sizing kit i think it's like a dollar on amazon so you're not like spending a lot for that I have the pricing for both the aura ring and the ultra human ring listed on the screen but the price of the ultra human ring is 349 dollars and the one main difference between this ring and the aura ring is that the app that you use to pair with it the ultra human app there's no monthly subscription we love that okay because who needs another subscription to pay for it you know what i mean 
Apple already takes enough money from us each each month. It seems like they're taking funds out every other week. Who knows what that's really for. But with the Aura Ring, there is a monthly subscription to be able to access the app. Um, so that's just another cost to think about that you're going to have to pay for if you get an Aura Ring. But with the Ultra Human Ring, there are no additional fees. Once you buy the ring, the app is free. We love that. <laughs> you can order the ring either from the Ultra Human website or you can get them on Amazon. You can connect your Ultra Human app with other apps that you use. You can connect it with My Fitness Pal. You can connect it with Strava, Garmin, Fitbit, um, Google Fit, Apple Health, Peloton. And then there's a glucose option on here too, Libre Link, if you have one of those. I've never heard of that, but you can connect your health data from other apps and it can all sync it to this app, which is really, really nice. Another really cool feature of the app is the different um, options at the bottom of the screen. So you can click on the metabolism. If you have like a glucose sensor, you they can get one from Ultra Human if you want to track that. I don't have that, so I don't know how it works, but it might. I think it might be something I look into in the future. Um, you can also go on to this other option called Zones, and you can like sh share and like link stuff with your friends and like compete, which is really fun. Um, and you know, share your scores and motivate each other. And then there is the Discover tab. This is really cool because there's a lot of workouts and exercises on here. There's meditations. There's like people you can listen to reading stories to help you fall asleep. Um, there's a lot of educational things on here as well as as well as their podcast. What I really like about this app is I keep saying what I really like, but there's so many cool things um, on here when you can see the stress rhythm. So this is going to tell you if you're stressed, if you're relaxed or if you're stimulated. So here are my stress rhythm score. I have a 97 right now. And if I click on that, it gives you your, um, you know, how many hours or minutes of the day you've been in a relaxed state or a stimulated state. And if you are in a constantly stressed state, the app will suggest for you to like do some breath work or like, hey, let's meditate for five minutes. Like it encourages you and motivates you to bring your stress levels down. The first time I, the first time I wore the ring to work, I was like walking in and I'm like getting set up at my desk and getting ready for the day. And the app said I was stressed. And I was like, hmm, is that a sign? Stressed when I get to work. But it was really cool to see, to see how the app like read how I was feeling because who didn't want to be at work that day? Me. Um, but yeah, I love that it gives you this. It says, I was in a relaxed state for 74% of the day. And really like being stressed, it doesn't mean like you're actually, oh my gosh, I'm stressed out about life. It just means like I could have walked really fast from my mailbox to the house. Or I could be doing a workout. Like that could also mean stress on your body. It doesn't mean you're necessarily like stressed about life. Although it could be that too. Like if you have anxiety or if you um are like really nervous about something it will pick that up as well battery life on the ring and says it should last you i think like five or six days i want to say before you have to recharge it so the ring does come with its own charger based on whatever size you ordered um i noticed i could go about three or four days before i need to charge the ring and it, the app will alert you and be like hey your ring's at 30 percent. maybe you should put it on the charger um, but you can go quite a while without having to charge it. It's not like you need to put it on the charger every night. Um, it also says you should charge the ring in short spurts versus like letting it get down all the way to 0% and then charge to 100%. So keep that in mind if you're someone that likes to wear it. I usually pop it on the charger when I'm in the shower. You can get this ring wet. Like I wore this ring on vacation. I was doing excursions. I was in the ocean. You can wear it swimming. It can get wet. Like it can do all of that. It's waterproof. So you can get it wet. I just personally remember, I just remember to pop it on the charger when I'm in the shower and let it charge a little bit. The material that it's made out of, it, it will scratch. So it's not gonna look perfect forever because you can wear it while you're working out. So if you're lifting weights or I don't know, like riding a horse or something, <laughs> the ring is gonna get scratched and that's fine. Mine doesn't look too scratched, honestly, and I lift weights. Um, I will say I noticed that it's kind of scratched on the bottom part, which makes sense. Like under here, it's scratched a little bit just because that's where like the weight is when you pick it up. I think that overall, like it still looks really pretty. It still pretty much looks brand new. The cons of this ring, there's not a lot for me. I don't have 
really a whole lot to compare to. I don't have the Aura Ring. Um, they're very, very similar. I know the app interfaces are similar, but there are some differences in what it tracks um, as far as like readability and things like that. For this ring, um, one is the amount of notifications <laughs> that I get, and I cannot figure out how to lessen the amount of notifications I get. And that's just a personal thing for me. Like, I don't like my phone going off all day, and I feel like I get notifications every 20 minutes, like, updating me on something, which is great if you like that, but I don't, me personally, I don't need that many notifications. Um... But they're also nice too because it will remind you to hey get up you've been sitting down for a while like go get some steps in um but the amount of notifications that that's just a me problem it might not bother you but there are quite a bit of notifications and i will say it's not easy to navigate the app to figure out how to turn them off like i've been trying to figure out how to reduce the amount of notifications from the app and i can't figure that out <laughs> so other thing i will say is ultra human ring is a fairly new company um, so when I first got the ring, it took me about a month to get it. I don't know if that's standard. I don't know if it's always like that. I don't know if it's like that if you get it from Amazon, but it did take about a month for my ring to come in. And I know they have to like make the ring, you know, and get the size and everything, but I just thought it wouldn't take that long. So that was one con. Hey, really, that's it. I don't really have too many bad things to say about this ring. Um, overall, the ring is comfortable to wear. It, it's accurate. From what I can tell, it's accurate in tracking my body and health insights, and it's cute. Not that that's like the most important thing, but it is a cute ring. Hope that my review was helpful and helps you decide on if you want to get one of these rings or not. I literally tell everyone I know about this ring, and it's just, it's something that I wish I would have gotten sooner. So if you've been thinking about it, go ahead and go for it. I think you would really like this ring to be honest especially if you're someone who you know is really into tracking your health insights and just making sure that you know you're on track with things in the description box I will leave a link to where you can purchase the ring um, I don't have a discount code I think but maybe I can get one for you guys so if I do I will put that in the description box too I don't know if I have a code or anything um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this review if you have any questions at all please leave them in the comments below or send me a DM on Instagram. Let me know if you've been thinking about getting a ring or if you have one and what you think um, and help someone else decide. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video.